Hello. Have you ever uh, considered a career as a project manager? It's a pretty interesting field. You know, think about it. You know, there's things that need to get done and there's a need for people out there who know how to get those things done. How to identify what the problem is from the outset. How to come up with an agreement between all the involved parties about what to do. And then how to prepare a plan, including timeline, deliverables, and uh, identification of what constitutes a completed job. And then to bring that all the way through and to close everything off at the end. The skills that you need are good communication skills. Of course, you need to be very good uh, at uh, writing and uh, managing uh, tasks and working with people. If you've got those skills and some fundamental IT skills, then maybe you ought to consider a career as a project manager. Maybe you ought to consider a career in the, in the uh, public sector. County of Riverside um, has lots of opportunities um, at various times, not always. We don't always have those opportunities, but there's a great need for a good qualified project managers or, and analysts. And if you have an interest in this type of thing, then hey, why don't you uh, give me a shout out or just give me, send, send me an email. It's kbell, I'll put it right up here, kbell at rivco.org and uh, we can talk. And I can tell you a little bit about what the basic qualifications are and let you know if we have anything available. But for now, let's watch the video about uh, how to get started with a, a new potential uh, project. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to uh, SharePoint Project Management. Uh, we are your Q3 PMs. Uh, Q3 stands for a, a Quadrant 3. We'll explain more about that at another time. But anyway, we are here today beginning a kickoff for a new series on the process of running projects using this methodology, the 10-step process. And today we're going to work on step one. We have to imagine ourselves in, in, a, in a scenario where we're sitting at our desk, suddenly our manager or supervisor appears, be, the shadow looms behind us, and there's a sticky note that is Paste it on the desk right next to us, and it's got three little bits of information on it. And I'm going to go ahead and write these bits of information up here on the screen right now, up on the board. Okay, we decided it was OIC. OIC. Yeah. Yes. The one thing. So here we have our our little sticky note, and up on the top it says O I C, and the next thing below that it says Yumiko. S. And a little below that it says something about SIG file. And just below that there's a number. Okay, we have two things. A sticky note. OIC, Yumiko S, SIG file, and there's a phone number. Has anyone ever received a project that, like in this way? Like where it just kind of comes out of the blue suddenly, suddenly your things were going just smooth and suddenly you've got a new project in your lap and you know maybe three or four things about it. <laughs> As I'm getting a, a nod. Oh, yes. Yeah. Keisha, has that ever happened to you? Absolutely. Yeah, it happens to me. That's why I usually bring my sticky notes with me and I, I didn't think we were going to start from scratch today. So that's our sticky note right back there over my shoulder. So now we've got, now we may not even get into the document. We have about, we have about 30, 35 minutes left in this particular session and we're going to have a little fun. Um, we're going to pretend that this is what happened and furthermore the manager or supervisor who gave us the sticky note is in a real big hurry. He or she pops out on our desk, it's, it's, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and he or she says, I've got meetings all day elsewhere, I'll be elsewhere, I want a status report, this is a, probably going to be a project, I want a status report by the end of the day, okay, um, by 4, by 4 p.m., okay, okay, and he or she turns around and leaves before we have a chance to ask anything, right? <laughs> What do we do from here? This is no, there's no wrong answer here. Okay, we could do that. We could, that could be the first thing we do. Let's role play, okay? I'm gonna be, now remember what we are. Remember, who, let's define carefully who we are. And I know Keisha, you're, you're with, are you with, D, you're with DPSS, right? Yes. Yes, okay, so. DPSS contract, yes. So, so, so you work with Barry, right? Yes. That's right. Great. So, so guess what? Today you get to be an honorary member of RCIT. Okay. Okay. Good. You can take a bit of a, a bit of a, of a holiday from the DPSS world. <laughs> we have cake here almost every day. <laughs> too, too much cake. <laughs> I, come, come join us in person. You're always welcome. <laughs> um, 
So what we're going to do now is, okay, Keisha, we're all members of RCIT. What is RCIT's mission and mandate in the county? To solve all of our uh, technological needs. I like and, that. And, and, and enhance our customer, internal and external customer experience. I like that. You, someone's been reading the business card. <laughs> that's exactly, that's very close to our mission. We. We are an agency that serves other agencies, right? We are the centerpiece through which IT best practices and solutions are, are vetted and developed and implemented, right? So we serve others. We treat others, especially our, our uh, customers, like customer, like real customers. So now, this, it's gonna take me a while, Wanda, remember this OIC is one of those. It's not the Department of of social services, it's not waste management, it's not first five or flood control, it's OIC, whatever that is, right? Over overarching, what? Uh, integration and coordination. Wow, agency. they just do everything, right? It's everything that nobody else does, right? Connect all the dots. Okay, so we're about we're about to do something. We we've got this sticky note, and we're going about to to dial the number. The first recommendation was is to uh, to dial the number. I guess I was assuming Yumiko is at that number. We don't know. So let's let's think about what we're about to do, right? Let, let, let's let's imagine. Let's not do it yet, and let's just go into the magic machine and take a test run at this. Okay? All right. You ready? You got your pretend phone. I got my pretend phone. Okay. Actually, when I do this with real, when people actually have phones, I have them actually dial the number because that is my number, and it will ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready to give this a try? Okay. Okay. Actually. I'm not going to make you the victim. I'm going to ask Juan okay, to be the victim. Thank you. Juan, you're going to be you're going to be the victim to try. Call. I'm good, That's right, because you're a gentleman. I am. Yes, you are. Right. Okay. You're going to call this number. Sure you're, okay. What 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 are, what, are, what do they what do they call this in 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 marketing when you call and you don't know it's what? A cold call. It's a cold call. Right. This is a cold call. And is is there any risk in a cold call? Lots. Lots of risk. Let's, try. Let's give this a try. Remember, this is not the real call. We're taking a chance. We're just going to see what happens to play this out. Are you ready to dial me up? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. That, that's a yes in, 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 the, in this room. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. We're gonna, we're, remember, this is not the scenario. We're, we're going to role play okay. and, then, and see how this goes. Okay. So, so what I would do mm. is before I call anybody about anything, I would look up Yomiko. I think I had Dell, the C internal. Just right. Get the sense of like, oh, what's her role. Okay. okay. Who does she report to? Um, I'd look up OIC, get off, they have a website, see what they're about. Mm -hmm. And then I'd search for that safe file just to kind of, so I know what I'm talking about because I don't know what this is. What do you think, Teresa? What do you think of his, uh, Juan's ideas? He's, he's heading. Sounds smart. He's trying to save himself. <laughs> he's doing his it. homework, his research. Yeah. Do you, th do you, do, would you like to maybe, you guys like to try that instead? Let's do that. Okay, good. Yeah. And I, just for the record, this is, you've, Juan, you've deprived me of one of my favorite things in these lessons, which is I get to be the person at the other end who's surprised by your call. Okay, well, and so, I, I can still surprise No, that's, it's okay. It's okay. And I can be surprised by the fact that you have no idea what this is about. <laughs> right? That you're calling me, and you don't know who that Yumiko S is, right? You're calling this Yumiko S, and imagine that if they're a customer and you're RCIT and you're calling and you have no idea why you're calling them, right? Is that a good first impression for the customer? <laughs> no, probably not. So I think we should follow through on your idea there. Let's, okay. let's, let's get our imaginary computer out and do a little bit of work. What, 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 we should put our Sherlock Holmes hat on. What kind of sleuthing can we do? We know I, oh, I see, right? Because it's one of our consolidated agencies, okay? So, What's, what can we do to get to the bottom of this? You already mentioned a couple of suggestions. Yeah, so I, I'd see if they have a website and get on their website and see if I can find out whatever that sync file is. Well what, well, what about this? What, what on there, remember, RCIT, consolidated agencies. They're consolidated if, they've, if we serve them. What on there is an immediate piece of information that will tell us a lot of information on there uh, without calling her? Well, Yumiko, right? Yumiko might help us, right, right. Is there anybody, okay, now, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Keisha, you don't know our organization over here at RCI too much. Go ahead. Maybe find out who the VRN is? Yeah, bingo. Oh. That's exactly where I was going. Yay, she gets two points. Yay, bonus points. That's exactly where I was going. My cake. 
And Keisha, the thing I was going to say about you don't you don't know. Well, you do know our organization, Keisha. You know about our VRMs, right? That's exactly right. We can't we can't we may not find anything about this in our in our Active Directory because there's no last name there, right? Or maybe maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. It's a unique name. But why not? Let's go. We know who the heck is the BRM for OIC? They'll know. So let's, let's, let's walk over to the BRMs area, right? And, and let's, make let's invent somebody. Let's make a, a Lyle Bell. No relation. Okay, some relation. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's make Lyle Bell. Let's, that's our first bit of information, right? We can, we can add, start adding in blue. So it's the, B, the BRM. And maybe we don't know who the BRM for OIC is. So we haul, holler over the cube. Hey, anybody over there know who the BRM for OIC is? Yeah, it's Lyle Bell. No relation to Kurt. <laughs> it's Lyle Bell. Let's walk over and talk to Lyle. Right? Let's let's role play. So would you like to give that? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Lyle. I can do that very easily. I can look very stern. He got it from Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're starting. Okay. Yeah, and action. Hi, Lyle. I'm Teresa with uh, RCIT. Oh, hi, Teresa. How are you doing? Good. On the yeah. third floor. Very good. Um, I have this post-it. What do you know, uh, this sticky note, what do you know about a project that might be going on with OIC? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. Um, did your supervisor come down and give she that to you? Did. Yeah, that came, th that came through me initially. So that is uh, Yumiko Suzuki. She's the uh, deputy director of OIC over over us uh, over systems, and we're basically operations, basically kind of like operations. And they, the SIG file means that they're having problems with their signature files. They're not happy with the way, um, you know, you know, when you send an email, at the end of the email, there's like a salutation that has you know the name and stuff like that. They're not happy with that. If people, it's not standardized. People are editing it, they're putting cursive, they're putting pictures of puppies, and it's not very professional. And they want that to, uh, us to help them solve that problem. So we're going to basically scope it out and figure out what we can do. Are you tasked to work on that? I am. Oh, okay, great. Um, yeah, if you could uh, maybe you know, try to work up a, uh, I can help you, we can work up a business case with, uh, with, a little, with uh, OIC, and that'd be the first step. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Action over. Okay, I think that was a very successful first meeting. So now we know some information, right? So now we know who is, who, what is her full name? Suzuki. Suzuki, right. That happens to be my wife, by the way. No relation. No. <laughs> and, okay, some relation. Okay, Yumiko Suzuki, and, and did we, oh, did we forget to ask what Yumiko Suzuki did? She's did she a deputy done? director. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's a deputy. Deputy di director, director of what? Oh, I see. But did she say what she was? What group? Oh, you did say. Lyle said. Yeah, Lyle said. Um, operations. Okay. Operations. Yeah. Deputy Director of Operations, right? Good. Okay, so that's, that helps out. We know the BRM, it's operation. What's this SIG file mean? Signature file. Signature file, right. Signature file, very good. And we've got the phone number. Okay, we did some good. Yeah, that probably took us all of 10 minutes, right? To go find Lyle, get that information. Now imagine how much better this phone call is gonna go, right? If we do that. So is there any other due diligence that we can do ahead of time? What, what, what do you think? Remember who we are, we're RCIT. We are a business systems analyst that plays the role of a project manager. So we're technical to some degree, but not the deep technology necessarily, unless you're one. <laughs> what else could we do before we make the call? I would do a little more research about what's involved with the SIG file and talk to somebody in IT, you know, that, you know, and just say, hey, how do you guys manage it currently? And what are some of the solutions you've come across with? And just so I have a little more understanding of what the problem is. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, right? Because now we're going into it. We talk to the technical people, right? Find out what the reality of this looks like because we're a consolidated agency. And, and, and also there's an important word of scope, right? How big is this thing, right? We don't know. So, okay, so what's, we're, 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 I guess we're not going to go back and sit at our cube. We're going to have to go talk to somebody else. So what do we do next? 
Maybe go back talk to Lyle. <laughs> okay, knock knock. Okay, Juan, you're on. Hello. Oh, 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 no, you're you're knocking. Sorry. Oh, I'm knocking. <laughs> yeah, it's Lyle. Oh yes. Oh, hi, Juan. Wow, I was I was just here. Uh, Teresa was here just a moment ago. Yeah. Um, need to find out about what's involved with uh, how you guys manage signature files with emails. Oh, I have no idea about that. Who would know? Oh. Um, that would you would want to want to talk to the sysadmins on the third floor. That would be um, you know either you know like Mike's group for example. Mike. Yeah, Mike, 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 uh, Mike, Mike Bahama. Mike Bahama. So I'll, I'll Come start up with, with these him names. and then he can kind of point me in the right direction. And... That's right. Go see Mr. Bahama. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't come up with names to save my life. Okay, well let's just write down that name as well. <coughs> okay, well let's not, before we write down that name, let's go downstairs, take the stairs, so you're going to show up kind of winded, and I'll be Mike Bahama, okay? Okay, and uh, Mike Bahama is a manager on the third floor for, for that group, okay? Yes, okay. Oh, oh hello, Hi, I think we've met before. Hey, Mike Wong, uh, you got a minute? I've got a quick question. Oh yeah, sure. Um, I've got a, a cast with a project of improving uh, signature files over at OIC, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Lyle said that you would probably know what's all involved with this. Do you know who could help me out just understanding what's involved with producing signature files and managing them? You're talking about signature files with email? Yeah. Oh, That's email right. signature files. Sure, that'll be handled through our, our Outlook system. We have Office 365 in the cloud, so all of it is handled through Out Microsoft Outlook. And we have a special, we have a, uh, a messaging team. And you'll want to see the head of that team is Chris Wong. Chris Wong. Yeah. Okay, and so he just know. sits down the hall right over there, right by the end, by the cake. Super. You know, I, mind if I just have this, this conversation with him? That, yeah, that, yes, that, that's fine. And bro, bonus points for you. Okay, break. Bonus points for you. Wow, look at you, politician, you know, you, right? Yeah, what did you do that I'm so happy about? I asked permission. Yeah, That's you did. That's not going to happen very often, I'll tell you, but yeah, it, it you, has to happen once in a while. You did. I'm really happy. And now, now um, Keisha, you won't know about this, about particularly the, our third floor, the sysadmins. They're the ones that keep the lights and the water flowing, so to speak, in the, in, in, in the IT world, right? They're very busy. They're often handling emergencies and the like, and they're the, they're the people that you don't want to bother too much. Um, and it's really good to get permission from their managers or supervisors to do that. I'm, I'm really impressed. You are going to have, the next time you go by to see that particular supervisor, Mr. Banana, is it Banana? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> next time, <laughs> the next time you go to see <laughs> Mr. Ba Bahama, he's going to remember that. Right, I'm impressed. Okay, so let's let's go on down and talk to uh, Mr. Wong and and Keisha. Will you mind? I keep forgetting that you're out there. Will you mind talking to Mr. Wong, Wang, Wong, Wang? Yes. I'll, I'll be Mr. Wang this time. Oh, you want to be Mr. Wang? I'll be Mr. Wang. There's there's a reason for it. Oh, okay. Keisha, would you mind giving that a try? Sure. Okay. All right. You're walking on down the hall, and there you go. Okay. So, um, hi, Mr. Wang. I was referred to you and regarding the SIG uh, project, the signature project. Uh huh? Uh, you are the head of the team. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let, let, me, let me just finish my coding. Just one second, please. Yes, yes, sir. Well, what can I do for you? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> is this a good time? Is this a good time for us to discuss or should oh, I schedule a little bit? Oh, uh, uh, is, uh, is it long? I, I have a, some emergency I need to take care of, but in just a minute, I can spare a minute. Okay, just a minute. I know how busy you are. I'm just trying to get my head wrapped around the concept of what needs to happen for the signature project, and I know you're the head of the team. Uh -huh. I understand that it runs through Microsoft Outlook, and that's usually handled, and so it's self-contained. Can you give me a couple of uh, tips about yes, the uh, uh, I, I'm going to send you to my specialist, and he's going to take care of you. Uh, I'm very busy right now, but you go talk to... Uh, me, me, me. To, uh, Kurt Bell. to Kurt Bell. He's he's gonna he knows all this all the information you need for this. Okay. All right. I will certainly do that. I thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. I will come. Okay. Okay. I will come to okay. Great. And Akisha, can you just walk down the hall a little way? And I'm Kurt, and you're gonna talk to me. Okay. Okay. Hi, Kurt. I just talked to Mr. Wall, and he referred me to you. I'm trying to get some additional information about the signature project. And oh, I understand you in person I need to speak to. Oh, is that the one where with the uh, I heard about this with the OIC and they're not happy with their signature file on their email? Yes. 
Great. Yeah. I was expecting this to happen eventually. So um, let me give you a, a quick primer, and I think I think this this will help you out. I'm really glad that we're coming to this point because the organization needs to to take care of this once and for all. So. Um, out in, you know we all of the consolidated agencies use Microsoft Outlook for our email client and they all have a signature file on the system. Um, right now it's wide open so the problem is that we're allowing users to edit the signature files as their leisure and they can do anything they want and that's not just a problem with OIC that's a problem with all of the agencies. OIC is just the first agency to get to have basically be fed up with it right and say enough's enough. So yeah. there there are a couple of technical solutions that we can do on our end uh, that would basically help to standardize the signature file. Um, and, but, and there's also the possibility of simply implementing policy, for example. You could write policy about this. There's also an th option for third-party vendors that actually have a solution that could be plugged in that might be able to handle it. So basi but basically, and we can technically facilitate any of these things except the policy. The policy has to be written by the policymakers. So what, we, what really needs to be done is that um, RCIT needs to decide on an overall arching solution for the county at, at large and one that's going to be satisfactory to OIC and the rest of the agencies and then simply implement that. Okay. okay let's very helpful information. So, let's, so would you be okay. available for us to uh, schedule the stakeholders meeting? Um, and, and I'd like to include you in that. Yes, yes, I'd be very happy I'd like to, to do that. Someone from policy and, you know, to go ahead and kind of discuss some things so we can handle several components of the project at the same time. I love it. I love it. That's great. Yes, I'd be very happy to do that. I'm very, I'm very interested in seeing this through. It's a very, I think this is a very important thing for the uh, hurdle for the county to cross. And just so you know that other, I've, I've been, you know, I, I keep my ear to the ground at Microsoft, and almost every large org organization that implements Office 365 eventually encounters this as well. So it's, it's something that's been handled before. There's research out there in Gartner there where we can probably find some best practices to handle this. All right, let's cut. You guys did so good. That is so great. Now let's just collect a couple of, let's take a moment and take stock of what we've learned so far. So now we know Mr. the Chris Wang was in, I had him listed as an admin, but he's really, he's an admin. He's more than an admin. He's kind of, he's, he's, a, he's a supervisor, I think is what he was, right? Or he was a manager actually. Say head, yeah, head of the messaging team. So he's the manager in the head of the messaging team, right? And then what was this other guy? It was, oh, it was, it was, did we go three people deep? No, okay, there was, Chris Wang was the first one we really cared about. because The he's first the one. person was behind, somebody behind them. Right, and he just forwarded us off to Chris. Wang. Right. Wang is someone that we need to keep an eye, we need to keep this person informed because we're going to need his team member. Right. Right? And what was this, his team member? Kirk Bell. A hard name to remember. Kirk Bell. Yes, right. Now, what will we call, let's start putting some lit, and he is uh, an admin. I can't spell that right. There we go. So let's start putting some labels next to these people. Okay, Yumiko Suzuki, what, what, is, what kind of roles are there in the project management world? She's uh, either a sponsor or a stakeholder. Uh, yeah, I think she's either, we don't know, right? She's one of those two. She could be either, let's just put her in red, a sponsor or a stakeholder, question mark, right? And what is the difference, of course? The sponsor writes a check and the stakeholder cares about what's being done. I like that. I like that very succinct definition. Another way I like to think about it is the sponsor is where the buck stops, right? So if there's an issue, a change, a decision that needs to be made, a check written, that's where that happens. And we really need to know that person on both sides of the organization, at RCIT and at the agency. So that's right. So she's probably a pretty important person. What is Chris? And think about her title, Deputy Director of Operations. She's, there's not much higher than her. There's probably an assistant director above her, and she probably doesn't, Ms. Suzuki probably wants to protect this direct, the assistant from that. So she's probably our sponsor. What is Chris Wang? Stakeholder? I think he's a stakeholder, right. Holder. And what is, uh, what is uh, Kurt Bell? He's a stakeholder, but he's also something else. There's an abbreviation. He's an, a, a SME. Subject matter expert. Yeah, he's our, he's our first subject matter expert. And that's why I was so happy 
um, that, uh, that uh, Kisha, that you invited him to the meeting, right? Sometimes some stuff, some SMEs you don't want in meetings. <laughs> but some, this guy Kurt, he seemed pretty personable, seemed like he can talk a little bit, and he's very interested in this project. So he's probably a person that you want in that meeting. Okay, we're starting, he's also a stakeholder, right? He's a stakeholder slash subject matter expert. Now later, I don't know if we'll talk about it in this project, but you can create something called a RACI diagram that identifies all the human beings and identifies what their, what their need to know is. We probably won't need that with this project, but it's good to kind of keep track. So now, and we learned a whole lot about, from Kurt, about the technology and the options. What, were the, what, what was the first thing we learned about the problem? Is it, is it constrained to just I, OIC? No, it's countywide. Yeah, countywide. It's a big problem. And can, can we, we didn't ask this question, but can we fix the problem for just OIC only? Yeah, we don't know. Maybe the solution for an OIC would be a template for other solutions. That's probably what's going to happen. That's why Kurt kept on saying the, the RCIT, in conjunction with all of the agencies, needs to come up with an overall solution. But OIC might be able to lead the way. And I'm going to break from a second from just from my, 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 my class here. And I just want to, Keisha, I want to, I want to compliment DPSS because you guys have done that several times for RCIT where you have led the agency in saying, we need a solution. Oh, hey, nobody has that solution. Okay, DPSS figures out, well, this is what we want, let's implement that, and guess what? Then the rest of the county gets the same solution. So this is a model, we may be able to replicate that model here where we work closely with OIC to find out a solution and then make that the county standard. And we've done that several times with you, uh, Keisha. <laughs> you guys are good that way. So good, so we, now we know what the problem is, we know it's systemic, it's gonna require a big solution. I heard three options from Kurt. Did, did, did anybody capture what those three options were? Standardize the signature file. Yeah, okay, so option. Policy. Yeah, that's right. So, so the first one, let's put that up first. One is policy. What was the second one? The standardized? Standardized signature file. Standardized sig. All right, right? And what, what's implied in this is that we're doing this in-house, that our sysadmins have the p capability to do this internally. And there was a third option. Third party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third party right. vendor, yeah. Yeah, third party. What we, Kurt didn't go into detail, but what it turns out, he mentioned that um, this problem has come up a lot with large organizations that have implemented this. So guess what? Smart, clever software vendors out there have said, hey, maybe we can come up with a technology solution, some professional services that we can step in and solve this problem for you, right? Because RCIT is gonna have to figure this out ourselves, right? Maybe we can pay a vendor a premium and do it right the first time. I'm not saying RCIT can't do it, but that's the whole idea, right? Wow, look at us. We are now, we still have, uh, we've only been doing this given the delay that we had in the start. We've been doing this for about half an hour. And look where we've gone. I don't know, Keisha, I don't know if you can see that well enough because my head's in the way. Yeah. But we've gone from four data points to a whole lot of information. What, what do you think is the, okay, let's fast forward to four o'clock, okay? So it's four o'clock and, um, and uh, Teresa, I'm going to ask you to, 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 to work with me. I'm coming back to the desk. I'm your supervisor, and I want a status report. Are you ready to give me a status report? Sure. Okay. <laughs> You're not too sure about that. Actually, before we do that, just, so just put that in your head. Let's see, is there anything else we want to do with all of this information to really put a cherry on the top of our status report for the day? Is there anything we can... Yeah, start to put this in a document somewhere. Okay, start to put it in a document. That's right, so we're going to do that, but maybe now it's, it's like 3.30. We're not going to have too much time to write. Is there anything we can do, hint, hint, call, call or email? How about set up a meeting okay. with, with somebody, right? We've identified some important people, right? How about let's make a, let's make a trip back to, Mer back to um, Lyle real quick and ask him if he thinks that there's anybody else in this building that needs to be involved in that meeting. 
What do you think about that? So should we do that? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Why don't we go back? Uh, why don't you come back on Lyle again and give me a, tell me what you've learned and what you're ready to do next? And what you, Oh yes. Oh, hi Juan. How you doing? Good. Got a minute? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so I dug into the signature file issue. I spoke to Chris Wang, the manager, Kirk Bell, who's the uh, actual SME on that. Uh -huh. uh, Kirk gave me three options to pursue. Uh, not options, but three things I need to get lined up. Uh, the first thing is to understand what the policy is. So mm -hmm. There has to be a policy defining this. Um, he's recommending standardizing a signature and either in-house or third party to actually implement the solution. Um, I'd like to go back and call uh, Ms. Suzuki, but before I make a call, because she's pretty high up there, um, do you know who reports to her? I could probably set up a meeting with a group of stakeholders. I'm so glad you came back and asked me. You're right, Ms. Uh, Suzuki is, is very busy right now. And uh, she's actually assigned this project to Bob Ross. Okay. And uh, Bob, um, so Bob is a manager over at OIC, and he, he's, he's your guy. And do you happen to have his contact, or is he Sure, sure, yeah, his number, he's in the directory, okay. right? And uh, you'll find all the information in the directory, and he's actually, I told him that to expect a call and maybe a meeting next week. Great. So you're, you're looking for people for the meeting. Um, can you include me as well? Okay, and then anybody else you think should come to this meeting? For this initial one, uh, probably not. If we have Bob, myself, uh, you, um, what was the name of the person you said from, do you think, do you think we should, at this point, do, do we need, do we need the actual sysadmin or maybe just someone to represent from that team? Um, you know, uh, Kurt Bell seemed pretty knowledgeable about the ins and outs of this. I think, I think it'd be a real asset to, to be there just to kind of help us understand what we're, what we're walking into. It's, oh. it's it, it can be, I, I think these things can seem simple and then when you go in there, they, all right. Well, if his supervisor will clear it, then go ahead and, and invite him too. Okay, so I'll, I'll get permission from the supervisor, and then uh, after I get that, I'll include him on the meeting. Great. Are you going to try to put together anything f ahead of the meeting? Uh, well, I will uh, put together an outline of what I've got so far, and uh, if Kurt happens to have anything off the top of his head, I'll include that as well. And I'll try to parse it down so it's not reams of information, but even just a high, high level. All right. Tell you what, I'll bring a break from the se session for just a minute. In our organization, this, this thing called the business case, which we haven't seen yet, is the responsibility of the BRM. Okay? So, I'm check back in. I'm going to prepare a, a business case, and uh, we'll start working on the business case with the customer. Okay? okay. All right. And that will be that will be off to a start. So, that's one of the key things you need to do is basically have the business case yep. for this. Yep, that's the thing. All right. Now, that's, that's, one, that's one way we could go. I want to recommend one more thing before that. If it's at all possible to have a one-to-one -one meeting, and this is really the BRM that should do this, right? I'm going to say, I'm going to try to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with either Ms. Suzuki or Mr. Ross to fill out the business case, because it really is the, business, the, the BRM's job to do that, right? Even before everybody comes together. So that could, this meeting could have gone two ways. I could have said, oh, this is great. You've identified all this information. Why don't you hold off until I can get the business case going a little bit? Or some BRMs might say, oh, here, can you fill this out for me? Mm. And that's probably what we're going to do in this case, is going to say, oh, and by the way, uh, can you, Juan, can you fill this, fill this out for me? Right. Now, you're a trained PM, so you know how to do it, right? OK. Great. So now let's let's do the last bit of this. We've we've collected a lot of information. Let's go ahead and, and well let's let's take stock for just a second. Now I am the I am Lyle Bell, the BRM, and I've given you the business case. What do you want to do? Let's let's let me show you the business case. Okay, we've got just a few minutes left. I'm actually going to pull down a business case. I think we'll be able to uh, finish nicely on time. So we're going to lo log in. And these these. Templates are all in the SharePoint thing. To be yes. So, everybody, you saw last week that we have um, SharePoint sites for every project. This doesn't deserve a project just yet. It doesn't deserve a SharePoint site. Do you have any idea why it doesn't deserve a SharePoint you site? It as a yeah, it may not be a project, right? But it, what we do need, and we'll go into the to the PM lobby, we do need a copy of the phase project charter. Now over here, under our template library, you can click on that, and let's do, there's all the documents we have in here. 
charter. And come on, there you go. And then phase project charter template. Great. And, whoop, oh no, not that one. I want this one. The template is the one that has all the information in it. Download, save. And we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna start on this document right now. We're not gonna get very far. Then the next lesson, we're gonna continue working on the document. I'm gonna open it. I think I briefly showed this document to you on Tuesday. Great, and we're gonna go ahead and open it in, open it in Word. Oh, there it is, here we go. Save your work, continue. Let's go over here, it's right, it's right, that download. That's it. That's that's a real one. See the HMIS homeless app? That's actually a real project phase project charter. That's opening that up. So of course Microsoft wants to update my applications just at this moment. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's isn't that always the case? Right. Mm -hmm. So just a second here. Is it prompting me for anything? I can't see you on the screen, Kurt, but I can still hear you, so just continue on. Oh, okay. Wow, it seems to have... I want you to be able to see this on the screen. Let me just bring it up again real quick. And I'm, again, I'm sorry for the delay. Oh, no worries. Thank you. I'm going to join. How, how long ago did this did the video go out? Oh, just, just um, a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, just, just, um, as soon as you were pulling up the charter, I saw the cover page of it. All right. And oh, then it went off. Yeah. There we go. I should, you should now be able to see the screen again. Okay. Great. And I'm sorry to say you should not be able to see me. Yes. There we go. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And I think our document is up. Don't want to update now. Okay. Good. Here we go. Now we go. So now you can see the document and this is a brand new phase project charter. So we, this, this may not become a project, but we're gonna begin filling it out. So this is, uh, now we're BRM. I'm Lyle Bell, I'm sitting at my desk, I'm gonna start filling a bit out. I'm gonna take this stuff out. This is all just instructions on how to use it. You don't need to worry about that. The agency name. Juan, what is it again? Uh, the overarching. Overarching. Uh, integration and coordination agency. And, and coordination agency. I doubt there's anything like that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the project, what's the proposed project name? Sign standard signature plan. Oh, I like that standard, how about standardized signature, signature file. And the date today is 06, oh, uh, 2019. And the blue simply indicates that that's something we want to uh, um, fill, out. fill out, right? So we're gonna change that, change, change that. Good, scroll down a little bit further. Document modification, 06, 2020. 19, okay, prepare a business case. And I'll put my initials in KB. And then I'll take this yellow out. When, when, once you're done, uh, once you understand a section, just take the yellow out. And then go down here, we're gonna change the BRM name. The BRM is going to be Lyle Bell and Juan Ugarte. The two of you. And I'm gonna actually change that. Is it okay if I use your full name? It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna actually change that up here to, to be you. I will be your ghost writer one. Okay. One, J-U. Okay, good. Okay, going down, and uh, Keisha, can you see this all right? Yes, I can. Okay, yes. scrolling down a little farther. This is the business case template guide. You don't need to worry about this because I'm gonna guide you through it. Uh, we, we only have seven minutes left, but this describes how to use this template. So we're not going to need this. So I'm just gonna take this out, this whole page. Goodbye.
There we go. So now here is the business case. The business case is less than two pages. It is really simple. Very, very simple. Here's the start. There's the end. Right there. We, you can actually, with, I've, done, I've filled this out in 20 minutes with a customer and, and it's made the whole project go smoother. We're gonna try to see if we can just take a stab at filling out the first cell. The first thing is, let me make this a little bit bigger for the online view home, the, the viewers viewing at home. So request type, is this new or existing, is this a new or existing application or service? What, you guys help me, what is this? New or existing? What, what do you think, uh, Teresa? Is Office 365 new or existing for us? Exist. It's existing, yep, yep, it is indeed. I answer, I'll take this part out. Whole different animal, it's like branching. So the first part, business needs statement. This consists of four, a table with four simple cells. Very, very simple cells. Business needs statement. Please read and answer the following questions. This will help to clarify, to clearly identify the business problem which needs to be addressed, what and who it affects, and what a successful solution would look like. Every one of these cells has a beginning of a sentence and then three dots, and you fill in the blank, okay? The problem of, write a sentence or two to describe the problem which needs to be solved. Please be as, should be as. Please be as specific as possible in terms of identifying requirements which the solution must include, such as dates, capacity, and adherence to any regulatory requirements. We have, let's see if we can do this real quick. I mean, literally in five minutes, okay? I'm gonna see if I can do a world record on this. We are gonna try to fill out these four cells, okay? I'm, I'm Lyle Bell, I'm sitting with, I had a meeting with Yumiko Suzuki. I went right to the deputy director. Why? Because the deputy director is the person who, who, who owns this thing, right? And I wanna hear from her mouth what this project is all about. I'm gonna play two roles right now for the sake of ex, ex, for to expedite this, okay? First I do is I take this yellow section out. I say, Miss Suzuki, can you please uh, tell me what is the problem that you're having right now? And she says, oh, we've got, Email signatures are all over the place. You know, the fonts are all strange. People have uh, their pictures of their family on there. Um, and it's all kinds of, it's a mess. So the problem is, the problem of unregulated use, un unmanaged, let's say unmanaged. Unmanaged use of the, of, of users' signature file, signature files is resu resulting in unprofessional appearance of OIC email. You can leave it at that alone. And that's, you could, you know, that's one sentence, right? We could elaborate a little more, okay? In our next lesson, we are going to elaborate a little more. Okay, tell me, tell me in the next part, two effects. List the stakeholders who will be affected by the problem described above. This may include agency, employees, clients, suppliers, and outside regulators. Careful identification of project stakeholders is crucial to ensure the project takes their needs into account. Let's take that out. Go over here, bulleted list, or insert, there we go, bullet. Okay? Okay, now, Ms. Suzuki, tell me, who does this affect? And I want, you, I want all of you to help me. Who does this affect in the universe? Stakeholders. Okay, stakeholders, okay. It's kind of broad, but that's true. But what, now, no, no, no human beings' names. I don't want to hear any personal names. I want to hear the types of people that it affects. The stakeholders encompass Okay, this, okay, so I think stakeholders are a little too broad because we want to narrow that down to more. So let's, let's indeed do that. Let's say em, employees, right? Uh, specifically, I, no, OIC, OSI, OIC employees, right? What, who else? Um. Who, think of all the people that are getting these email with these wonky signature files. Yeah. Oh, yeah, vendors, vendors, customers, as whatever that is, we're an agency, so whatever customer means, right? Who, who else? Think, now think the about directors. the what? The directors. Ooh, I love that. I love that. Let's put that up here at the top. The the directors of the company. Right. So who that kind of what's a broad? What's an even broader? 
container for those exec uh, I said, <laughs> Thank you. executives, right, right. So the OIC executives, right. You might, sometimes you might want to spell it out to a specific assistant director, mm -hmm. assistant director of operations or whatever, but OIC direct, uh, good. How about, how about, how about RCIT? Yeah, RCIT, it affects us, right? And, and you mentioned vendors, which is a really good one because they don't want to be left out. Now we could go on and on, we just have two minutes left, but the idea here is the, of this exercise is to make sure we don't miss anybody, right? We don't want anybody showing up three months into the project and saying, nobody came and talked to me about what the heck you guys are doing. You're doing it all wrong. <laughs> if we can identify all the potential involved parties early on and get their input, then they're not gonna show up three months from now. Now, you notice we didn't put any names in there. That's for a reason. Now, I'm gonna do this again. Let's put this down here. Now, the third one, we're, I think we can do this. The impact of which is, identify the impact this project may have on the stakeholders you have listed in step two. This one is really simple. It's the same list, and we put just below the bullet why they care. Why do executives care about this? Um, it affects the credibility of their organization. Affects uh, credibility of org, organization. Great. And, okay, OIC employees, why do they care? Your image. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, cor cor <laughs> I need a burrito. Corporate, in corporate image. And what else did they have to, they might have to do some, oh, they might care because they like uh, let's just leave it at that, corporate image, that's good enough. How about the vendors, why do they care? Um, it gives them, um, it increases the trust factor in the organization. Increase, increases... Uh, Trustworthiness. Tr trust, because they're more standardized yeah, and they're they more professional. And recognition and trustworthiness. Okay. Oh, I like that, I like that recognition, almost like a brand, brand recognition, right? right. Because we, yeah, we can be a private a company, a public agency. We can have a brand, uh, recognition and trustworthiness. Great, Is that right? Okay, and how about the customers? Why do they care? Same thing, right? Is the vendors, right? So let's copy that. And why does RCIT care? I'll speak for them. Responsible to help implement solution, right? Responsible to develop, to, to help. Because we may not, we may go with the vendor, so they may not do it. They may help implement sol solution. Okay, now what we've done is we've identified who it affects, why those people, why those groups care. And the last thing, and I think I'm just gonna take you one minute over, a successful solution would. List the benefits to be gained from our solution. This does not include how the problem will be fixed, but simply helps us to understand the benefits the solution must provide. This is where, as a BRM, I look carefully in the eyes of my, of my deputy director and say, if you could snap your fingers, what would the solution look like? And with that, we're gonna leave that for now. I'm not gonna fill that out because that requires a little bit of thinking to help, to help the director get a really good vision. Because whatever comes out of this cell right there, that's the, that's the direction we're headed. But now we've done so much in a very short period of time, we've identified the problem, we've identified the, the, the stakeholders, we know why they care, and we have a document that's ready to go over uh, with, our, with our, our, our sponsor, and we have a meeting in the works with our stakeholders, right? Look what we've done in, uh, the, we started about 10 minutes late, we've done it in about 50, 50 minutes. And, 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 you, this, and once you get really practiced at this, you can have this out in half an hour and be ready, have the first meeting scheduled and ready to go and feel really, go have your burrito and feel really good that you did a good, hard morning's work. And any questions? Keisha and uh, Teresa, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad that we had just the two of you because this allowed us to kickstart this into a fresh start. So when we come back, if you, if you come back next time, we're gonna carry on from exactly where we left off and complete this business case. And then we're gonna role play the meeting with our, spot, with our stakeholders, okay? And anybody else that shows up is gonna be wrangled in as a stakeholder. <laughs> great. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day. And if you haven't had your lunch left, uh, burritos are really good on the first floor. <laughs>
Thank you. Take, See you next time. Take care.